Greetings, family. Greetings, greetings on the other side. Greetings, greetings, greetings. We just did our rising um, rituals, you know, workout and stretch. Mm -hmm. Even though we're looking cool, sweat finish, you get me? But yeah, we're feeling good and deciding, you know what, let's let's have a little chat. Mm -hmm. we, we don't have anything in mind right now, but a topic came up and we said, let's have a little conversation. Chit chat. A chit chat with Sol and Luna. <laughs> sharing yeah. our perspectives and and this chit chat will be about relationships mm -hmm. you get me as Jali would say the relationship. the relationship and your relationships relationships and because yeah. because I don't think a lot of us realize that relationship is really what brought us here mm -hmm. and it is a continuous journey is a continuous thing we are in a relationship no matter if it's not you know sexual but then again that's another topic because um sacred energy exchange is always happening so every, it's it's intertwined you understand so relationship is the forefront of everything the relationship we are with ourselves we're having a relationship with the with the earth with the fruits that food that we eat with animals but this one that we want to talk about is the relationship that we have with ourselves is a reflection of the relationship that we have with others and also the relationship we have with the earth. Yeah. You understand? So and you know the reason why I want to talk about this topic because of our own experiences with others out there, ourselves, you understand? And you know, even though we're all connected and we're experiencing ourselves and external, but also everyone and the external is is also carrying out their own individual experience of the oneness, right, of the whole. So some of us are on different frequency, a different degree of consciousness, different degree of awareness. So when we use the word, like we are reflection of others, or everything in our reality is a mirror of our own thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Sometimes some of us get lost into misunderstanding and don't know, or can't figure out how to understand why my external world is a mirror of my internal world, right? It is not something that you can in, in tech, in like, what do you call that word? In, intellectualize. Mm. You cannot use the mind, to, the mind. to figure out, figure these, out these things. things. You understand? It's something you have to meditate and something and, you and have to experience. experience mm -hmm. You understand? We use tools to help us to aid us into these um, acknowledgement like for example astrology numerology when you use these tools it may, it it gives you, you know the ability to realize that everyone that has been coming into your life is a part of you it's an energy it's an energy you understand in relationship with your own self and because we didn't have these tools our awareness of self we we didn't think that However, and the external is literally something from our internal. So we treat each other unjustly. We do dishonest things. We don't appreciate someone else. Even if the person do you wrong, right? They still don't appreciate the messenger for the message that comes to you. You understand? So we keep seeing this enemy outside of ourselves, not knowing there's an enemy within your own self. It's a shadow within your own self that you need to come into realization with before you can actually judge everything wrongfully on the outside. Because everything you judge wrongfully on the outside, it's your own self you're really judging. And not say you can't judge, but from what degree are you judging from? Just seeing everyone as an enemy and seeing some people as a good people are seeing that the enemy and the good is also you within your own self mm. you understand so it's for you to go within with this knowledge that we're in the time of information and knowledge and we can't drown into information and knowledge it's like you say you're drowning in your own ignorance you understand we have to use the information and apply it and go to the experience to get the wisdom and then we will come to the realization of through this experience to realize now that it's really us it's me versus me you understand and it's learning how to navigate your mind your emotions your body so it can be aligned to your soul and soul can align with spirit 
and spirit can align with fullness, oneness, the universe, and you can have a joyful um, relationship. Right, and a relationship with self and your higher self. I and know, others. yeah. And you know, just like what you said a while ago, when mm-hmm. we, it's something that we don't use the mind to really think about, we, we analyze it and and um, dissect it. And when we ana- when we can analyze it, it reminds me of a, of a phrase that came to me a good while back when we used to say we're so scared of life. And if we are connected to everything and everything is us, why would us want to hurt us? You get me? That's just an example. Mm-hmm. And since all of us are from source, just like the example you always give, it's a big body of water, or the glass, the mirror, yeah. the, and the mirror fell, and it scattered. But all of us are from that same mirror. All of us is a drip of big ocean. Mm-hmm. So, basically, when we view it from that standpoint to say, all right, all of us are from the same source. So, when we look back on ourselves and say, all right, I'm going to have this intimate relationship or loving relationship with myself don't we think that when we give that to ourselves or that relationship with ourselves it is um reflecting it to the other parts of the glass or the other parts of the waters you get me to help them to find their way to say all right i feel my other side of me doing this with themselves and it's 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 Mm -hmm. it, it it's like How can I put it? It's like the example that you always give, another example. Whatever we do with ourselves, somebody else is out there feeling it. It's the same thing. Same thing. You get me? So it's like the relationship that we have with ourselves now, the love that we give ourselves, the attention, everything that we think we need outside. When we give that to ourselves, we're helping another side of us to be better. You get me? And when we make ourselves better, we attract better. So it's like... It's like when we make ourselves better, we can expect better from somebody else who will be coming into our life. Yeah. You understand? Because we made the first step to do better. So if you haven't do- been doing better, you cannot expect to be getting better from somebody else in a relationship because you haven't started doing the work that it worked then. If that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to give a perfect example. And this is why all, um, I hope we can explain this to help us to not go out of ourselves because sometimes people say well how do i go within and you know but but i want to go out because and it's like sometimes we become confused right so let me kind of clear the confusion so for example uh we always want to help because it's natural in our human um tendencies, tendencies to yeah. always want to help each other it doesn't matter what we can come with that in our heart space to always want to try to help each other but on what degree right so in the spiritual realm, when you're moving from a higher frequency, coming out from a 3D dimensional thinking to a 4D to 5D thinking, it's not about trying to like, for example, going out of yourself to let everyone know that I can do this. It's about just um, being into what you can already do and the universe will send what you need and the persons who need you, once you're giving yourself the things that you know is rightful for you. So you don't have to try to go out of yourself to say, I'm going out of myself to live my purpose. If you're taking care of yourself, it doesn't matter on what degree, you're already living your purpose. You understand? And the universe will send reflections of you who need those things that you're already giving to yourself. So for example, you or, can I, or can assist you further. Yes, you understand? So for example, you train to become a doctor. Um, why you become a doctor? And when you become a doctor, um, you, for example, you become a doctor for specializing to, for example, liver. You're a, a liver specialist, right? No person will turn up to you for kidney and heart problem. Everybody will turn up to you for a liver problem because you're a liver specialist. So it's the same thing. When you start to do the work with yourself and start to realize what you, your creative gifts are on all different levels, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, the universe will send that reflection of you all the time to always either they try to come to get some help 
Are you going to try to test you to see if the, you know what you're doing? So it always go both ways. But we have to be prepared. Sometimes we only want the only the good mm -hmm. uh, Achilles of life. Not knowing that sometimes a little resistance will come to check to see if you know what you're really doing. Mm -hmm. So both reflection is is necessary at this part of our growth and our journey. You understand? Because of where we're coming from. So we can appreciate life, appreciate our journey. And don't take it for granted so we can create but that even from within because we lost the way and we take everything for granted and no appreciation for relationship with self with nature with others so now we have to work for it and earn it to come back into that knowingness and wholeness you understand we're not going to just step back into it just like that because to give someone something just like that and they didn't earn it they will not appreciate it so we have to earn back that relationship with ourselves our body our mind our emotions and our soul and that is how we're going to attract like-minded the same frequency that is doing the same back to ourselves. but as i said you will sometimes people this the universe will send another part of yourself because we all have shadows so we all want to think that we are so innocent and we don't have any shadow because if you stand in the light you will see a shadow emitting from your body that and the shadow and the shadow the shadows are basically karmas that we came back with guys basically when we came here on earth we, we just don't we have don't no memory of what we did in the past life. life you get me but when we start to do research like study your astrology and numerology everything is there mm -hmm. you know you so in your soul contract everything is there to let you know what you did and what you came the shadows that you came with to heal and overcome so basically those are our shadows you know things that we did in the past that we're not innocent guys yeah. we're not innocent a lot of the time things are happening to us in life and we we're, we're like why me and a lot of us know why us <laughs> because we know why mm -hmm. you know we've done things and sometimes in past life past life can be when we were we, when we were younger you get me we came back with those subconscious memories and we played out in our younger age and when we come up in like 28 30 40 it's it's slapping us and then we're sitting like like we don't remember what took place in our younger age we're not innocent so we can look back and look at our shadows and look and see what where we what we've done wrong are the out of an alignment out of alignment, alignment out things of balance. you get yes. me and then we'll put them back into alignment yes. into balance shine light on them so we can heal them and move forward yeah mm -hmm. so so yeah so this is all about having a balanced relationship with self mm -hmm. so and we can have a balanced reality basically that you understand and we have been on this journey now you know for quite some time separate coming together with others coming around us and we realize that you know sometimes we want to think that where is the finishing line but there's no finish line there's levels upon levels upon levels and this is what makes you, you know kind of sit with yourself and be humble patient and have love and compassion for yourself to know that okay it's not even a race you're in your own lane in your own mind try to figure out your own soul journey and kind of on your own time but the yes. planets tell its own story and yeah <laughs> you're part of the character of that story yeah. you understand so we are still part of the macro which is the micro expression so even though you're in your on your own time it's a sense of on your own frequency mm -hmm. you understand you're, and you only can grow at your own pace but also we're never alone because we're going to always have other like-minded individuals our soulmates soul tribe twin flame that is going to align to that frequency of what we're transmitting out and we're going to reflect that back to ourselves so we can journey together and continue on the journey because it's a continuous experience and journey through the cosmos there's so many different levels and dimensions beyond this physical world that we are seeing with our two eyes mm. you understand so much so much you understand so this is just the beginning mm. of a new um start mm. to something great and greater and so much greatness you understand so you know it's it's allowing yourself to shed and to remove the ego and to don't think that think don't come out of the victim mode complaining about life and think that you are the only one going through what you're going through and the world is so bad out there and 
there's so much enemy out there and you are such a good person but why so much thing, bad things happening to you and just try to find out how oh, do I oh. get the answers get answers to overcome and move forward from yes. what I am going through because this is why we're sending this message out now like what we're sharing mm -hmm. it is something that we can overcome this is something that we can balance out this is something we can um, create harmony with we can make friends with our shadow you understand and don't make enemy with our shadow and use the light to shine under darkness within our own self so when we see it in others instead of trying to fight we can assist and if the if that shadow don't want the assistance the shadow will basically go away that's basically it that's all we realize on this journey now when we face the shadow within ourselves which is sometimes it come in the appearance of sometimes just in your own mind and thinking or it can pop up in someone else you still have to shine light on it put awareness on it and if it when you put the awareness and shine light on it and say you want to fix this and you want to do better and you want to be a greater version of yourself you understand the, the, the information will come to you to shine light on it and when you shine light on it if it's a if it's a relationship with a person that person will disappear because that person will, that has that shadow will say I don't want I'm not ready to shine light on this shadow right now so I'm gonna go and if the person ready to heal with you and grow with you the person will stick around and say I want to be where you are at right now to grow to this better version of myself too so let me look into my shadow you understand so we stop pointing fingers on each other saying who is better who is wrong who is right who is the greatest who is the worst who is this no we are here to help each other you understand so we have to realize that each one of us is as the answer that we as the answer as that yeah, thank you for bringing that each one of us has the answer for each one of us none of us is greater than the other you understand each one of us come with the piece of the puzzle each one of us is a healer for each other each one of us is a messenger for each other each one of us, each one of us is facilitating each other's healing we have to can see it on a deeper level and come from the stop coming from the surface only guys stop the surface living stop seeing things only with your two eyes and take the time slow down have patience and really start to find out why i am having this relationship with these people who is these people inside of my life whether good or bad what kind of message these persons came to deliver to me what kind of healing even though it might not sound good look right but what they're trying to say to me what the universe is trying to say to me look on your astrological chart find out what is this person who is this person when this person was born what kind of zodiac sign this person has and look inside of your chart and yeah, realize I was, that I, yeah i was going to touch on that because basically what we want to bring across bring across with this video is um just like jolly was saying a while ago look at the persons in you're in a relationship with and but basically what we want you to do is try to look at yourself all right before even though you're in a relationship it's it's i think it's really time for us to point back on ourselves and see what it is that we can fix within ourselves what it is that we can learn about ourselves moving forward what it is that we don't know about ourselves so we can build that relationship with ourselves first again even even if you're in a relationship start to see how you can build a better relationship with yourself all right yeah this is i think this is what we want to bring across in this video no matter no himself. matter if you are in a relationship with somebody or kids you know even if you're married please try to take the time to build that relationship with yourself know yourself more you understand know, know yourself so so much more try to figure out why you're here why you're going through what you're going through and something that we always say life is not happening to us no matter what you're going through, it's not happening to you. Nothing is bad. It's really happening for you to open your first eye. Deep they call deeper. it the third one, but we would say it's the first, first one. Yes. You get me? Look deeper within yourself and, you know, try to figure out who you are. Mm -hmm. You understand what you trust. came back to do. And trust yourself. Trust, trust your life yourself. a little bit trust more. Trust your intuition. All right? Nothing is happening to you. It's happening for you to dive deeper within yourself and get the answers that you need. To move forward in your life even if it's to make 
um, your relationship better. But first, you have to make the relationship with yourself better first. Yeah. So you can make the relationship in your reality better. And even with people, with friends, with family, you get me? With associates, with anybody. Anything. Anything. Life. life. You have yeah. to build that relationship with yourself first. You have to find a harmony so, within yourself. So, yeah. you know, the more you see clearer within yourself, the more you can see clearer within everyone else outside of you. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that's just how you, you match the jigsaw puzzle. So, and it's a journey. Mm -hmm. It's not a race. This is not a course where you go and get a certificate and then you say, okay, I know everything now. No, no. You understand? It's a journey. So, just prepare to know that once you take on this journey, there's no turning back. But you all be always be assisted and guided and protected and always be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And you will always get the lessons that you need to make you grow and evolve. And it will get better and better. Yeah. So don't take this message as something to become scared of yeah. and to, to drive fear inside of you. No. Even though it won't be easy. Nobody said it would be, be easy. easy but, but remember you're not alone. You're not alone. And once you stay open and trust, you'll get all the answers that you're so need. You get all the need. help you need. You get me? It, all the yeah, guidance. All the guidance. And, and you're, as Jali say, you're always, we're always guided and protected. Even when we think we're in the darkest of holes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just try to dig deep and to see the light. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's and, really there. And your soul family is also there waiting on you. But first you have to be find your authentic self. This is how you attract your soul family. You have to find your authentic self and take care of yourself in the most natural way you can. Be as natural as you can and, and, and authentic and honest and loving with yourself as best as you can. And this is how you're going to attract your true part of yourself. Because you mm -hmm. remember, you want the most authentic part of yourself. So you have to look for it within yourself. So you have to look for it within yourself. So you can attract that. So you can attract. The more you be fake, the more you be coming from a place of your ego, the more you're delusional and living in a fantasy, that's what you're going to attract. The more you're going to attract those things in your life. Yes. So the more you say, you know what, I want real, authentic, natural, organic me. But you have to start applying those things to you. And from that, you will attract that back to you. That's how the universe works. In action. So life, yeah. You think it, do it, then it come right back to you. Mm -hmm. Boom around. <laughs> Yeah, guys. Yeah, okay, so that's it for this one. I think yeah. that's a chit chat wrap. Chit chat wrap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks for watching, yeah. and I hope this this video helped. If you needed the help and it resonates in every and any way, all right. Much love. Stay safe. Stay balanced. Stay whole. Yeah. Keep riding the waves. In the cosmos. In the cosmos. <laughs> Much love.